Hello, welcome to Z Gadget Review. Today, Amazon had an event in which they revealed a bunch of new products. So grab some snacks, get comfortable because we're going to run down the list of products that Amazon revealed today. So let's start with the Echo. The Echo, as you remember, is the first smart speaker that Amazon came out with. It used to have that cylindrical shape and every single alteration after that kind of kept the same shape. Well, Amazon shook things up this time around and they changed the form factor of the speaker. The speaker now is going to be round. It kind of looks like a bubble. They is going to have the fabric that the newer um, Echo line has had. This is technically going to be the fourth generation Echo. They have moved the light to the bottom of the speaker in order to put the light somewhere because of course you got to be able to see where the light is and the bottom is the best place for that. This kind of reminds me to the uh, Nexus Q. I don't know if you remember a few years ago uh, or maybe you never heard of it because it never came out. Uh, Google had a speaker for music that was supposed to come out that was going to be this great amazing speaker and it just never came out because um, people trashed it just the, <laughs> by the way it looked and I guess Google was like, oh, we better not. And so they never came out, they never came out. But this kind of looks like that, which is kind of funny. Years later, another company does it, you know, and nobody says anything. Times are changing. So the Echo is going to cost $100. It's going to come in three different colors. You can start pre-ordering it today. It will ship later this year. It's going to have a new processor. It's an AZ1 Neural Edge processor. It's supposed to be better when it comes to power consumption, it's supposed to make a lit. I almost said it. A L E X A more responsive when it comes to using the device. It's going to have a Sigby radius, a Bluetooth low energy radius in it. They have also updated the Echo Dot. And even though it doesn't look like a dot anymore, or maybe it looks more like a dot now than it ever did, I don't know. Depends on how you see it. It is going to have the same four factors, going to be the bubble looking thing. They're going to have two versions, the regular version and the one that has the clock in it. They introduced the one with the clock, I believe was last year. And so this is going to be $49.99 and $59.99. They're available for pre-order today as well. And they introduced Echo Dot for the kids, um, $60. It looks, it's the same form factor, but it looks like they decided to put animal faces in it to make it more friendly. You know, this way Amazon can start mining your kids' information way before they're old enough to shop and they know how to target them to buy the products. Isn't that amazing? And we have the Amazon Echo Show 10. The form factor has also changed. They decided to use a cylindrical form factor on this one. So technically you're going to have a cylinder with a screen on top of it. And it doesn't look bad. It looks, it looks, it looks okay. Uh, one of the new features on it is you're going to be able to use the camera on it to surveil the surroundings. So you can technically swivel the camera around. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. But you'll be able to use the camera to take a look at the room to see if there's anybody there who shouldn't be there. So it's going to be a way to, uh, one, spy on people in your household. Another, to uh, keep security within the household as well. That camera is going to be 13 megapixels. The screen is obviously going to be 10 inches. That's why it's called a show 10. It's going to have Netflix. And of course, because of the time that we live in on COVID and conference calling, video calling is going to support Zoom calls as well. Amazon Fire TV also has a couple of updates. The Amazon Fire TV has a new quad-core processor. Amazon says it's going to be 50 times more powerful than the previous generation of Fire Sticks. Now, the craziest thing that they revealed, well, this isn't the craziest thing that they revealed, but one of the craziest things that they revealed is called the Ring Always Home. I never thought that I would see something like this in my life. I thought that it was only existing movies. But we live in the future, and this is a reality. The Ring Always Home is going to be a drone that you can fly in your house. So it's going to fly inside your house. It is only going to record when it's flying. Technically, it is a security camera that flies around your house. It's going to shoot video at 1080p. You can make it fly in determined patterns around your house. 
when it's docked, obviously, it's not going to be recording anything. Battery life in, um, in the device is that it's only around five, five minutes, so you're not going to be able to go crazy and like be flying around your house all day long, you know? It's going to be a short period of time. But it's an interesting concept that now exists. Now you have a flying camera that lives in your house. They released the Aero 6 and Aero Pro 6, or Aero 6 and Aero Pro 6. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. This is the Amazon own company that does Wi-Fi mesh systems for the house. So this is going to support the new Wi-Fi 6 standard. It's going to allow you to, to, to link up to 75 devices at once. That's a lot. Um, that's actually really, really cool. It's going to support Sigby. The one single router supposedly covers up to 2,000 square feet. Two will cover 3,500 square feet and three will cover 6,000 square feet. So hey, Bruce Wayne, don't worry. You'll have enough coverage for your mansion. Swear to me! And the last thing they introduced at the end of the show is Amazon's new gaming service. Amazon's new gaming service is going to be called Luna. It is going to be... Uh, take on Stadia. It is a gaming streaming service. I'm going to do a video completely separate on Luna because there's a lot to talk about on that. All right, let me know in the comments what you think about all the products Amazon has released today. Are you interested in any of them? Do you think that some of them are just kind of nutty? Are you planning on getting any of them? Do you think that they missed on something? Like a new cube for example it would have been cool to see a new cube right i wish they would have done that but i guess hopefully they're not giving up on it because it's a pretty cool product but who knows all right that's it for me go ahead and give us a like subscribe hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we post new videos and thank you very much for watching